I was about 16 or 17 when I discovered I had a mental illness because people sort of looked at me different and my mother treated me different than the other kids. To this day, my brothers and sisters treat me differently than they do each other. I'm Linda Parker. I work for Mental Health America of Westmoreland County as a Consumer Satisfaction Team member. As a Consumer Satisfaction Team member, I must have a mental illness. I am bipolar and I was never thoroughly diagnosed until I was in my 40s. But at the age of 10, my parents thought there was something wrong with me. So they took me to a psychologist and did testings. And the psychologist told my mother and dad that the only thing wrong with me was that I wanted to be an only child. So we went on, they kept treating me like, a, like a, a, I was different. And I was angry, I was a very angry child. And I threw things at my brothers and sisters and bit them and was really mean to them. And then I started getting counseling with a psychiatrist when I was in high school. And it seemed to help. I went every week into Oakland and it seemed to help me with my anger and with my nastiness but I just became a wallflower. I didn't get interested in anything or do anything. I was always in the chorus with the choir. I was, I never stood out. I, I felt like everybody hated me. But now I feel that if they don't like me, that's tough. I like myself. I saw a psychiatrist mostly. I saw a therapist when I was in my 20s. And that, that helped a lot with my anger issues and my problems with, that I was having with my husband. And then the doctor gave me Paxil because I was constantly depressed. I see a therapist every other week and I also have a certified peer specialist. I'm extremely hopeful that my recovery will follow the path that it's been following. And I'm not manic, but I'm up. I'm, I get very nervous still and do things that I shouldn't, like go out and use my credit cards. But I'm trying to get away from that because the spending is one of my big signs that I'm gonna go manic. But I haven't been manic in a long time because I try to keep it under control with my medications and my therapy. I was hospitalized three times. Two times here locally, I was not allowed to go to the cafeteria with the other patients because my father was a physician there and somebody might see me. And that was real stigma. It was sort of traumatizing to me too, to know that I was mentally ill and nobody's supposed to know. I would say that I'm on the board of Pennsylvania Mental Health Consumers Alliance, and that some of us are mentally ill there, but not all of us. But we all work at different jobs, and we all are an example of people with mental illnesses working at several jobs. Our work job and our board member job. And I try to show the people that I interview that it's okay to have a mental illness, and you can work. I say to them, I'm working, but I'm on disability. It's possible. <laughs>